What is up you guys and welcome back to the Title Throws YouTube channel and I'd like to wish you guys all a happy Fright Fest. Yes, you guys, today is opening day for Fright Fest here at Six Flags Fiesta Texas and I am so excited. A little anxious, but I'm very very excited to kick off Fright Fest today. So of course, since today is opening day, we are gonna be vlogging the entirety of the event tonight um, as much as we can. Um, there are a few things that we cannot film, just like the haunted houses. Um, so that's okay, but we're gonna be filming just about everything today. Um, I'm also not really gonna film too many of the shows today, the big shows. Uh, I'm probably not gonna film today. I'm gonna film tomorrow just to so take and get my first initial reaction to them. And then a couple of the smaller shows, like the kids shows, I'm probably gonna see one time for the whole season. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and film those just to have them, uh, but those will be up pretty soon. So yeah, so today we're gonna be going hopefully through all the houses, hopefully through all the scare zones, uh, hopefully see as many shows as we can. Uh, there are a few uh, that are not starting today, uh, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so yeah, uh, one thing I do want to mention, I was supposed to make a pre-Fright Fest video, uh, but when looking back, uh, I actually I was able to film it and everything. Um, I came about a week ago uh, and filmed it, but Oh, excuse me. Um, but when I came and filmed it um, and looked back at it, I realized it was really rushed. Like I like unnecessarily rushed through the whole video and it was really excessive and it, it didn't really feel like a full video. So um, today um, I also wasn't like too really familiar with like what was happening during Fright Fest. So there's that. Uh, but now I've kind of immersed myself looking things up, doing research and everything. So hopefully I, I can, uh, my first little uh, go around the park today, I'm going to go ahead and talk about some of the things that are going to be happening at Fright Fest tonight. Um, as well as just some general updates around the park because FT92 happened not too long ago and they announced some pretty cool stuff and I put that in the video as well. So um, we're going to go ahead and talk about that all today uh, in a little walk around. Uh, the first show does start at four o'clock today. And it's just a little bit after two. Uh, so we have quite a bit of time. So let's get inside and kick off opening day of Fright Fest. Woo! Walking into the park right now, guys. I got the I got the gear on. I got my sunscreen on. I got my lucky Fifth Harmony hat. I'm so excited, you guys. I've been waiting for Fright Fest ever since last year's event ended. So I'm super pumped. And I can't wait to get back into those houses, watch the shows, back into the scare zones. Ugh! This is my favorite time of the year, guys. This Hallow Scream, all the Halloween stuff. Spooky season is upon us, y'all. I'm so excited. Let's get this night started. Getting up to the main entrance. There's the sign. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. As we are heading in, we can see the little nets and the skulls right over here in Los Festivales. And if that's not any indication that Fright Fest is upon us, I don't know what is. Oh my goodness, you can see Wicked Hollow, or not Wicked Hollow, uh, Soul Harvest up ahead of us. Let's take a little lap around the park and see what all we have. A brand new in the park and what we're gonna see tonight for Fright Fest. So first and foremost, our first update takes us over here to Zaragoza Theater as we welcome back Curse of the Zombie Prom, which is returning for a second season this year. Very, very exciting. Unfortunately, just like last year, the show is starting the second weekend of Fright Fest. So September 16th is gonna be opening day for Curse of the Zombie Prom. They did show a little preview of the show during FT92 a few weekends ago, but I'm a little bit sad. Um, this show is super awesome. Uh, I'm very excited that it's coming back, but kind of wish that I could see it today, but unfortunately not, not this weekend. Next weekend, maybe uh, if I get Saturday or Sunday off. Friday, uh, next Friday, actually, I'm going to opening day of Hallow Scream. So I'm gonna spend my weekend over there, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully I can come back and watch this show very, very soon. One thing that was going on when I was uh, supposed to film my pre Fright Fest video was over here at E6, they were doing a big tournament last weekend. It had a bunch of like um, content creators. Uh, Trey Jones from the Spurs was here. Uh, so yeah, that happened last weekend, but not this weekend. But E6 is still open though. Over here right next to E6, we do have the Haunted House uh, Fright Pass wristbands. You can get your Fright Pass uh, band over here. It is $30 for a Fright Pass, 20 for an Express Pass upgrade. Um, unfortunately, you do have to pay uh, for the Fright Pass to get into all of the Haunted Houses. But uh, depending on uh, what membership you have, you might be able to get yours for free. I know with my diamond, um, I will be able to get in for free. So. Yeah, we're gonna have to make our way over here a little bit later and get ourselves a fright pass so we can go to the houses tonight. 
And our first uh, scare zone is over here. We have Soul Harvest looking about the same as it was last year. Uh, Soul Harvest is usually back every year uh, for the past couple of years. Um, it does look to be a little bit cramped over here in this in this little area right here, but uh, I do have the guy that I keep calling a transformer up here. <laughs> um, and then we have, of course, the big centerpiece over here saying this is Fright Fest time. Uh, and then, of course, the big um, the big house over here uh, with all the spiders and the uh, jack o' lantern uh, scarecrow over here too. So yeah, I'm excited to see Soul Harvest come alive later on tonight at 7 p.m. We also have another little thing over there, which is pretty cool. Little nets and scrims around the whole thing here. And we have another one similar to what we just saw on the other side right here. So yeah, Soul Harvest looking pretty cool. Very exciting for this scare zone to come alive later on tonight. One of the shows that we're gonna see here in just a little bit, actually they're gonna be the first show of the of the season, is gonna be Looney Tunes Halloween Dance Party over here at Teatro. Uh, of course, this is gonna feature the, the Looney Tunes characters, probably some performers as well. So I'm pretty excited to see this show. Uh, probably gonna be the first and only time that I see this show this season. I like the bigger shows a little bit better, but uh, we got a cool show right here. Uh, loving the set design over here. Shout out Rachel Brem, who is the set designer. Uh, one of the set designers over here at Six Flags, and she does a really, really great job. She's the one who also designed the uh, Zombie Prom set. She designed the um, uh, Bonami Bayou set as well. So she does a great job. So shout out, Rachel. You're pretty awesome. But yeah. As we pass by the entrance to Hurricane Harbor over here, shout out to Hurricane Harbor for completing their first season as Hurricane Harbor. Uh, as of Labor Day, they have closed for a while, and they should be reopening. I think around spring break is when they usually open the... Uh, this area, but uh, the gift shop in here is actually going to turn into a, uh, a Fright Fest gift shop, uh, which is also going to be the exit for Fear Acres, which is one of the two extreme scare zones uh, It's going to be open uh, uh, tonight uh, for um, Fright Fest. So the entrance is going to be in here through Hurricane Harbor, and you get to go kind of all around here, take a little loop uh, and see some scary stuff. So um, extreme scare zones, you are allowed to film in them. Um, however, opening weekend has kind of been a little interesting for extreme scare zones so it'll be interesting to see uh how the actors and guards go ahead and react to that so anyway let's see if we can see some um see a little bit of fear acres in here from behind the bushes shall we so we can kind of see through the plant right here we do have uh one of the uh little sheds you can go into for fear acres looks like there's somebody over there i guess just a prop though but um but yeah uh this was originally uh fear acres debuted as a um as a scare zone over by um the gully washer area kind of in the little area over by uh one of the entrances to lone star lills uh and then they removed it over here to uh hurricane harbor it was kind of a fan favorite one of the best scare zones they had during hallow fest during covid um but they moved it over here in the uh in the water park and it has been fantastic ever since so yeah, excited to head back in here once again for Fright Fest tonight. As we look over here at Dr. Diabolical as she laughs maniacally as the ride comes over by us right now. Uh, unfortunately, Dr. Diabolical is going to take a uh, little bit of a hiatus. Uh, the character, not the ride. Uh, the character is taking a little hiatus from Fright Fest. She's been a staple of Fright Fest the past couple of seasons. But uh, we'll talk more about what that's going to look like in just a minute. But looks like the, from what we see, the original Elixir uh, has a little roof over it now. A little new thing for the Elixir. Uh, pretty cool. The Six Flags Butterbeer. <laughs> pretty cool. Um, later on, or actually, I don't know. They're not going to use the bottom half of the queue for Roadrunner over here. But uh, there is a couple of haunted houses over here in uh, Crack Axle. So we're going to go ahead and point those out here in just a minute. Can you guys see that? Scream is running two towers. Oh my gosh, am I dreaming? Scream never runs two towers. What the heck? Damn it. Over here in Crack Axle, we do have our first haunted house, Slaughterhouse 6 Extreme. The Butchering making a grand return from last year. They did uh, update it a lot last year. Uh, oh, looks like Iron Rattler is closed right now. Oh, darn, that stinks. Uh, but the entrance is going to be right through here, uh, through the little gate here. Um, and you go up around, and this little building right here is going to be the haunted house. So, uh, Slaughterhouse, unfortunately, in my opinion, is probably the weakest of the houses here. Um, I did get to see this one a lot during uh, other events. Uh, it's usually open for Scream Break and for Roller Coaster Rodeo. Uh, so, we'll Oh, I'm like really zoomed in, oh my God. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get to see it a little bit later on, but happy to see Slaughterhouse back. It's gonna be open for uh, the rest of the season, which is pretty awesome. Cliffhanger is looking very photogenic right now. 
This is some of the perfect conditions to take pictures of uh, cliffhanger. No clouds in the sky, absolutely beautiful. And looking up at the very top of that ride, I still remember my big trek all the way up there. I don't think I talked about it on a YouTube video, but I did get to go up there during a uh, roller coaster road at the very, very top. And uh, yeah, it was a very interesting experience. Here comes the, the, the train going down, yellow train back on the tracks. And there it goes. I didn't hear Dr. Diabolical there, but still a very, very fun ride. We love Cliffhanger. This area in Crack Axle is home to the Steam Pumpkins. This is one of them over here. Uh, and then the other one is over here by the entrance to uh, Wacky Wagons. Uh, but they have a little bit of construction walls right over here uh, because they're actually going to be moving the Bucking Broncos ride over here. That's one of the rides over in uh, Kidsopolis. Um, but they are moving it over here. It actually originally used to be over here and they moved it uh, for Kidsopolis. So happy to see that um, Bucking Broncos is coming back over here. Um, very cool. Making room for some awesome things over in Kidsopolis. Wink, wink, hint, hint. <laughs> uh, we have another Fright Fest uh, thing over here, a little bar. Uh, of course, we have a little, another little haunted house pass um, stand right here. And then some more fun things over this way. So over here to the left is the entrance to Buried Alive, another one of the haunted houses here. Uh, it's going to be open later tonight. Uh, another one, the ones they would open for Scream Break and for Roller Coaster Rodeo. I'd say this is probably one of the more intense ones. This is the assembly line of uh, Fright Fest. So I'm very excited to see Buried Alive back for another season. Up ahead is something I am most excited for about Fright Fest tonight, the return of the Arrival. So for those of you guys that don't know, the Arrival uh, was actually, it last happened in uh, 2019, um, where the scare actors would all come in through the Whistle Stop station uh, and they would go ahead and uh, head to their different scare zones and haunted houses, uh, ride in on the train, and then come over and scare people, and then go to their different uh, houses and, and uh, scare zones. So, very excited to see the arrival come back. Uh, Jeffrey did post a picture or a, a video not uh, yesterday um, detailing all the scare actors coming out uh, to celebrate the return of Fright Fest. So, very excited to see the arrival coming back. Um, they're also going to be doing um, a show kind of in this area called Motley Ghouls. Um, that's going to start September 23rd. Uh, not uh, unfortunately not tonight, but it's a brand new show called Motley Ghouls. There should be a stage around here unless they unless they, unless they perform over here on the uh, whistle stop uh, stairs. But yeah, happy to see that new show uh, debuting September twenty third. <gasps> Yay! The gully washer water is dyed red, of course, for for the amazingness that is Fright Fest. Oh my goodness! I don't think they did this last year, so I'm very excited to see the red water here for. Uh, Fright Fest. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I remember when they used to have a they used to have a haunt over here called Blood Bayou uh, that was inside the Gully Washer queue, and that's why they turned it red. And they've kept it red ever since. So this is so cool. Oh, happy Fright Fest, you guys! The water is blood red. Coming over here by uh, Lone Star Lil's Amphitheater, uh, there are quite a bit of shows that are going to be happening over here at Lone Star Lil's. Uh, while we're overlooking the lawn over here, we do have. Uh, Fright, uh, Frightful Finale is back again this year, uh, but with the introduction of the drones that we saw uh, in the summer, they are going to implement the drones into Frightful Finale. So uh, projections over here on the quarry wall, fireworks, of course, the drones are going to get set up a little bit later tonight. Um, very exciting for that. Uh, over in the actual amphitheater itself, uh, we do have a new show. Well, actually, the return of a, a previous show. Uh, called Rock Apocalypse Revenge. Uh, it used to be called Rock Apocalypse. Now it's called Rock Apocalypse Revenge. Um, I don't remember when the last time that show actually happened. So uh, the return of a fan favorite show right there. So I'm excited to see that tonight. Uh, it is debuting tonight. Thank goodness. <laughs> and of course, we also have what's a Fright Fest, what, what are the uh, Fright Fest uh, Monster Tainment lineup without Monster Mash Bash. Of course, back once again. Uh, unfortunately, no Dr. Diabolical's Monster Mash Bash. It's going to be called Monster Mash Bash The Bloodletting. Uh, apparently, it's going to be all vampire themed rather than the uh, carnival setting that we've got in the past couple of years. So. Very, very exciting to see it. Uh, I cannot wait for Monster Mash Bash tonight. That's one of the things I'm most looking forward to tonight. Last year, it was so amazing. The, the cast was so good. I cannot wait to see what the entertainment team has in store for us tonight for Rock Apocalypse Revenge and Monster Mash Bash, the bloodletting. <laughs> hey guys, Future Noah here. Um, 
So the next four clips of this video apparently don't have audio. I have no idea how that happened. Um, so I'm just going to kind of talk about um, some of the things that I was talking about here, which kind of sucks because I really went into more detail in some of these clips. So um, in this clip, I was mostly talking about Kid Flash here, um, how during my pre Fright Fest video was the first time that I had actually seen all the construction for it, which was really nice. Um, and then I said that this ride's gonna be opening in October, which is pretty cool. We actually get to ride it during Fright Fest, which is very, very nice. Um, so yeah, I have no idea where the audio went for the next couple of clips, but um, yeah, very, very interesting. I don't know what happened, but cool. Kid Flash, yay, woohoo! Here's a much closer look at the construction for Kid Flash. They already have the light packages and the trains on the track, so I imagine they're going to go ahead and start testing very, very soon. So, very excited to get to ride this brand new, one of a kind roller coaster. In this clip here, I started going into a lot more detail about what was coming here to Thrill Seeker Park. Um, for those of you that haven't heard the FT92 announcement, um, this whole area is going to go under a huge retheme to um, DC Universe. Uh, so basically, it's going to be um, all of the same rides are going to be here. Uh, some of them are going to get moved uh, out. Um, to other areas of the park and some of them are going to get removed period um, but they're all going to be rethemed with different DC characters so uh, Zoom Jets aka Stun Pilots over here is going to get rethemed to a Green Lantern ride um, which is very interesting um, kind of a Green Lantern theme this is Bucking Broncos that's going to get moved to uh, Crack Axel Canyon um, very soon this is the little mini drop tower right there so very nice um it originally was over there which is pretty cool um and then up up and away over here uh well we used to be called up, up and away is going to be uh rethemed to poison ivy which is super nice um which is great uh back i'm pointing over to uh the entrance to rambling road over there which is going to get rethemed to the penguin the dc villain and then pointing over at streamliner coaster which is going to get rethemed to batgirl um, another re-theme in Streamliner Coaster's long history, <laughs> um, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Skyscreamer is also going to get re-themed to Supergirl, which is really nice. I really like that. Um, and then they're going to actually move a couple of things around. Um, there's the Grave Rave stage over there, um, where Grave Rave, the kids' dance party, uh, is going to be. Um, didn't film that one, unfortunately. Um, long history with that show. Didn't want to film it. Uh, the pirate ship over here is going to get removed for a Zamperla Nebulas, um, rethemed to Cyborg, um, which is pretty cool. And then over here, the Grave Rave stage is going to get taken out, uh, for a monorail system called the Metropolis Transit Authority. It's going to be about 20 feet up in the air going around the whole area, uh, which is really cool. I went ahead and moved around there. Um, and then Bucking Broncos, obviously moving to Crack Oxel Canyon, going to be replaced with a little, um, mini drop tower themed to Shazam, which is really cool. So um, in the big FT92 announcement, it was announced that uh, DC Universe was going to feature the most rides ever themed to DC characters. So all the new stuff here, of course, with Kid Flash and Skyscreamers retheme and Joker, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, and uh, Supervillain Swing. It's going to be really cool. So I'm very excited for uh, this upcoming um, new addition to this area of the park, which is really, really cool. Here I was talking about uh, right before FC92, both Joker and Daredevil Dive went down for refurbishment. Uh, Daredevil Dive is back open, but Joker is still down for a little bit of refurbishment. You know, the park's working with Zamperla again, so might as well um, get some refurbishments on the two existing Zamperla rides. I already have enough problems on their own. So yeah, back to regular audio. As we head into Rockville now, we are heading into Infestation, which is another one of the uh, scare zones here. Um, we have the UFO over here beaming down that green light. Uh, we have all kinds of fun stuff around here and then some more fun stuff over here. Let's get a little bit closer and check it out. So over here in front of uh, Rockville High School, we do have the crashed UFO. We have the big bugs over here and the infected uh, characters. And then we have my arch nemesis, the Rockville school bus that blares off crazy horns every so often. This thing is very loud and always scares the crap out of me when I walk by over here. So uh, speaking of Rockville High School, we do have Rock Kill High is once again back this year, another haunted house. Um, this is one of my more favorite houses uh, at Fright Fest. So I'm excited to get back in there tonight. Um, so yeah, very cool. Um, also another thing over here, Wonder Woman is still closed, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. Uh, but as you guys can see, they do have that nice uh, fancy catwalk up there, which is pretty cool. And they're uh, modifying a whole bunch of stuff when it comes to Wonder Woman. So very, very nice. I'm going to try my best to talk over this loud piece of crap right here. Still pissed that it's still here, but 
there are a lot of brand new things coming for Fright Fest here in the boardwalk. Uh, in fact, we actually have a brand new scare zone in the area called Carnival of Terror, which is really cool. So you can see some decorations right over here uh, to where uh, everything's gonna go. So this stuff was not here last week when I came to try to film my pre Fright Fest thing. So I'm very excited to see what is around this corner. Oh my heavens. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, that one says twisted on it just to kind of commemorate the theme of this over here. We'll talk about that in just a minute, but check out all the decorations over here for um, Carnival of Terror. Wow, I'm excited to see how this uh, scare zone functions tonight. And speaking of brand new things over here on the boardwalk, we do have a brand new haunted house right over here. Uh, replaced, unfortunately replacing Carnival 3D, which was one of my more favorite houses, but kind of sucks to see it go. Uh, but we have Twisted Theater of Torment, uh, which is going to be over here inside the Pandemonium building. Uh, and I am very, very excited for this house. This is probably the first one that I hit up because I've been waiting so long to see this one. So I'm very excited for this house. Hopefully it brings some good fun. And then I'm not going to walk all the way down there just yet, but over there uh, behind um, Slingshot is Hell Valley Cemetery, which is another one of the extreme scare zones. Um, that, it's that one and Fear Acres, the only two extreme scare zones. Uh, but that one's a fun one too. That one's a pretty eerie one. So I'll be, I'm pretty, pretty excited to get back in there uh, once that opens up here at 7 o'clock. Over here at the uh, Haunt Emporium, which is the new Fright Fest uh, gift shop, we have another... Um, Another uh, prop over here for uh, Carnival of Terror. So this looks pretty cool. Like I said, I'm excited to see how this uh, scare zone operates once it opens. So I think it's going to be a very interesting one to see the new costumes and everything. I think it's going to be cool. So we'll check it out later on. It looks like there might be a sign over here for Carnival of Terror. I came through the, the, back, the back way of uh, the boardwalk, so I don't know what they have. But check this out right here. Uh, I guess there's no sign, but I do have this little piece uh, right here. Cool. So last year we had a, a little corn maze over in uh, Thrill Seeker Park, uh, but they actually moved it over here uh, right near Daffy and Scream, which is still running two towers. It's pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, this is for Boo Fest. Not necessarily for Fright Fest, but this is for Boo Fest. Um, I don't know if it's open right now. I mean, Boo Fest definitely is happening. Oh yeah, it is happening. There's people in there. That's cool. Over here we have Speedy Gonzalez in a fun little costume doing a little meet and greet out here. That's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez. I didn't know they had a Speedy Gonzalez costume. That's pretty cool. I didn't even notice this over here, but there's an area called Spooky Town. I'm assuming this is for Boo Fest. But let's go inside and see what's up here at Spooky Town. Speedy Gonzalez is going back over this way. Um, but this is really cute. Oh my gosh. It's kind of just a little a lot of hay bales around and some little photo ops and this is all really really cute and there's there's speedy gonzalez once again oh that's so cute this little costume we love that that's so cool i'm gonna take a quick stop here in sanger festival get refill my uh, cups with water in it but i wanted to show off a couple of things happening over here for beer uh for be both Oktoberfest and then for Fright Fest too, we have this guy right here who's super cool. I remember when they debuted this, it was super fun. So that's pretty awesome. Oops, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Cutting in front of people already. Uh, and then we have another one of the haunted houses over here. This is Trap. This one debuted last year. Uh, and so we have it once again. Very cool, taking up the arcade. So excited to get back into Trapped once again, just in a few hours. Very nice. Heading over here right by the entrance to Bugs Whitewater Rapids for Wicked Hollow. Uh, which is another uh, scare zone, and it seems to be all set up this time. Last uh, last time I was here, there weren't there wasn't all set up, but looks like it is now, uh, with all the cool stuff we got over here, and of course, Bozak, my man, <laughs> back once again, and then there's the well. Yay! Excited. We can all actually really step it up last year, so I'm really excited to see how they are this year, but. Welcome back, Bozak. Missed you, buddy. So over here, it does say House of Curiosities, but this house over here is uh, House of Hoongan, uh, Curse of the Rougarou, which is once again back again this year. 
Uh, they, they switched up uh, Hungen House of Voodoo for Fright Fest, and they made it like this. But uh, uh, but why does the size in House of Curiosities? Because they actually do something during Voo Fest where you actually can go into uh, House of Hungen uh, with no scare actors, and then there's actors in there that will kind of show off some things, uh, which is really cool. I did it last year, and it was pretty solid. But uh, I don't know if I want to do it right now, but I might have to wait to go back in there until uh, until Fright Fest starts. But yeah, so we have completed the loop um, around the park. Uh, now I'm gonna go find some uh, somewhere shady to sit uh, until our first show. Walking over by Sanger Fest and the worst band is out playing some music. The chicken, the chicken dance. I don't know why they're performing out here and not inside. But that's funny. What? Look at me! Where am I? I'm in the Pirates queue! I'm going on Pirates right now. Who would have thought? Oh my goodness. All right, we're inside the corn maze. Yay. All right, Samson, lead the way. <laughs> or, or Justin, lead the way. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh. I gotta go, gotta go back around. <laughs> it's a dead end. What do you mean dead end? Go, go, Samson. <laughs> Lead us out. Mario! Is that the way out? No, this is the chicken exit. Oh, the chicken exit? <laughs> yes. Woo! Ew, uh, uh. That's scary. <laughs> Uh. All right, we are here for Grave Rave, another show. Exciting. So we just killed a little bit of time uh, before uh, the show started. So we went on Pirates. Um, they have some new uh, black lighting in there, which is pretty cool. Um, the guns still suck, which seems fun. But I just rode this ride with Samson and Jeff. Hey guys. Uh, for the first time ever. And then we did Streamliner Coaster too. So, I haven't done those in a long time. Probably my last time riding those before they get uh, turned into Penguin and Batgirl. So, yeah. Cool. Hey guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap up part one of my uh, Fright Fest opening day video. Um, I had a lot of footage from the Fright Fest, the actual Fright Fest. Um, and so if I put it into this video, it would make it really, really long. And I'm sure you guys don't want to see an hour long video from me. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to stay tuned uh, for part two, which is going to have all the Fright Fest stuff, um, which is so, so cool. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, all the YouTube stuff. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.